Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about rosacea. We're going to touch on these points. What is rosacea? Who is affected? Types of rosacea. We're going to also talk about signs and symptoms and address the possible causes of rosacea. So let's begin. What is rosacea? Rosacea is a chronic inflammatory condition that affects the face and it's characterized by redness of the skin. And this picture shows the parts of the face that are commonly involved, the forehead, the cheeks, the chin, the nose, and the eyes. In rare cases, rosacea may develop beyond the face, mostly on the neck, chest, scalp, or ears. Now, who is affected by this condition? Rosacea affects both men and women of different ages. However, it's more common in women and it typically begins any time after age 30. Although rosacea can affect all skin types, individuals with fair skin are at greater risk. Let's talk now about types of rosacea. We have four main types of rosacea, as you can see in this picture. A is called erythema cotylangiectatic rosacea, B is papillopustular rosacea, C is called thymatous rosacea, and D is ocular rosacea. So let's dive into each type in a little bit details. Erythema cotylangiectatic rosacea is associated with persistent redness, frequent flushing or blushing, and visible small blood vessels beneath the skin. The second type of rosacea is papillopastellar rosacea, also known as acne rosacea, because it does have acne-like symptoms in addition to the redness. We have things like pustules or pimples, papules, which are small raised bumps, or even flax, which are bigger than papules. And this type often affects middle-aged women. Thymatous rosacea is a rare form and it is associated with a thickening of the skin, especially on the nose. And this form appears more frequently in men. The last type of rosacea is ocular rosacea. As its name suggests, it affects the area around the eyes. Let's move now to signs and symptoms of rosacea. Before diving into these symptoms, there are a few points that I'd like to draw your attention to. First of all, rosacea is different from person to person, either by its type or degree of severity. These symptoms could be mild, moderate, or severe. Finally, rosacea is characterized by repeated flare-ups or exacerbations and remissions. Major signs and symptoms include persistent redness and frequent flushing, visible small blood vessels or telangiectasia. We also have pimples and papules skin thickening and enlargement usually around the nose. This is known as rhinophyma. And finally, in ocular rosacea, we can have eye irritation and watery or bloodshot appearance. The secondary signs and symptoms may include burning or stinging sensations on the face. Some people may experience itching or feeling of tightness. In addition, the skin may become swollen because of the inflammatory process. Moreover, rosacea can cause dryness, roughness, or even scaling in the central facial skin. Now that we know what rosacea is and how it presents, the next question that might jump into your head is, what causes such condition? And the answer is, we really don't know the exact cause of rosacea. It's thought to be due to genetic factors, environmental factors, or maybe a combination of these factors. But 
we do know what could cause a rosé chateau flare-up. And anything that does so is called a trigger. Common triggers include sunlight, stress and emotions, heat, hot bath, hot food and drinks, spicy food, extreme temperatures like very cold, very hot, alcohol consumption, some medicines or medical condition, some skin and hair products, also cosmetics, uh, intense exercise, and the last but not, not the least, dairy products. Keep in mind, not all of these cases have same triggers. It's different from individual to individual. Okay? So we've come to the end of this part of the topic. Thank you for watching.